Hello Hemo friends and welcome to this new video. Today we start the exploration of a new weapon, which sadly is not really taken in consideration that much in the ancient fighting manuals, the one-handed knightly sword, often called the arming sword. First of all guys, before you start asking me, the arming sword which I use in this video is made by Malus Martialis Swords and is a replica of the famous Orkshop Type 14 stored in the Solingen Museum. Ok, so without further chit chat, let's start. So for this weapon I decided to base my fighting system on three manuals mainly. Our beloved Fior di Battaglia, the MS Ludwig 1513, written in the first years of the 15th century by Fior di Liberi. The Talofter, Talofter. <laughs> The Talofer 1467 factbook written by the German master Hans Talofer and the 133 manual, also called the Walpurgis factbook. So, of these three manuals, the only one which shows what we generally call an arming sword is the 133, but is shown used together with a buckler. Fiore, on the other ways, shows what we generally call a longsword used with one hand, and in the end, the Talofer shows a messer which in theory was a working tool different from a sword, but in the end was just a way to carry a sword, following some shape and length requirements dictated by different laws of the period. So I will talk more about the history of the arming sword and about other manuals which shows more material that can be used to learn how to use it properly in the future videos. Now let's get to our drilling. So I prepared for you guys a series of guards and simple drills to get used to some basic movements. Let's start from the guards. We will use the only three guards shown in the Fiori Battaglia manual, which are related to both the other sources I named. And by the way, you can basically start to fence with this weapon using only these three guards. The first guard is hold on the right, with the hand at the hips level and the sword pointing toward the opponent. You can hold this guard with both the right or the left foot forward, depending from which kind of action you want to prepare. The main action which starts from this guard is of course a thrust. The second guard which we are going to use is a high guard, which is up over the head. There are plenty of ways to keep this guard, so just search for some comfortable position which makes you able to strike both your fendenti, your downward cuts. So this is the only requirement for this guard, you should be able to strike blows either from the left or from the right, this guard can be held with both the right and the left foot forward. The third guard we are going to analyze is generally called the underarm and is hold surprise under your left arm. This guard, even if it seems strange, is one of our main defensive position. The guard is older with the right foot forward and the body weight can be placed either on the front or the back foot. This position makes you able to strike every cut from the left side and also to parry in different fashion the incoming attacks. So let's start with uh, some basic drills, and the first thing first, let's give a look to some basic attacks. So first, from our high guard, we strike our mandrito fendente toward the opponent. So when you start practicing this action slowly, you should always move the weapon first, then follow with your body, which throws the weight forward, and then start your stepping motion. But while you speed up, you will find that this ideal chain of movement is not always possible. Nevertheless, always try to start your movement with your arm. From our thrusting guard, instead, we will, of course, strike a thrust. We will execute it both from the place and with a passing step. So, from the place, keeping your guard with the left foot forward, rotate your body to bring your right hip and so your shoulder forward. While doing so, thrust straight toward the head or neck of the opponent. Then we will add our step. We will still follow the rule arm first, which now is more easy to execute in a consistent way 
due to the nature of the thrust as an attack. Execute the action as before and while you are completing your thrusting motion, start with your step. The last exercise is a sequence of cutting motions which will lend the basic foundations for our main defensive action. From our guard under the arm, strike a reverso sottano, an upward cut toward the right. When you complete your cut, reach instantly your high guard position and strike back with a mandrito fendente, ending your motion in your underarm position. Ok guys, we have uh, landed the basic foundations for our arming sword practice. We will keep going with this project in the future videos. Remember guys, if you want to help this channel grow up, click the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you want to get notified when I upload a new video, click also the bell button next to the subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys and as always, see you next time.